Nat G here, welcome back to my channel. So today, today, I'm serving you looks, honey. I'm so in love with this look. I don't even want to take it off. I'm so freaking in love with this. Guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is, huh? My name is, you'll find out. This video is supposed to be super fun. I hope you enjoy it. It took a lot of time and effort to make. I'm just joking. I have this look for you, and it's all based around Harry Potter. My sorting house is Slytherin, so I wanted to do something fun with that, which is why it's very, very green. It is kind of springtime-ish, so we'll just say it's springish. Whatever. If you don't like it, if you're not into it, just watch the video anyways. I got the storybook cosmetic wands for my birthday, and I thought, why not do something in my Slytherin house's honor and just, you know, create a look that is quite fancy and quite beautiful if you ask me. Um, I didn't do the whole tutorial in a British accent because, you know, it's not for me, it's not, I'm not perfect at it, it's just not, I'm not quite there yet, but I think that if you watch this tutorial, you'll quite enjoy it. I do not mean to offend anybody with my British accent, I'm just trying my best, you know, mates? Uh, if you're interested in seeing how I accomplish this look, then just keep watching. I'm just trying to see if you can hear the person who's cutting their grass right now. Or even if they're cutting grass, like it's still pretty much winter here. Like the snow just melted, so there's really no grass to cut. So, sir, what are you doing? Because I I feel like I can't even hear myself right now over whatever's going. You know what it probably is? A pressure washer. It's probably pressure washing the driveway. Either way, we're just gonna get started. Um, oh, this wig, when you sleep in wigs, child, they really come out to be like, you thought you were that bitch last night, but you're not. Surprise! First order of business is definitely dealing with this wig to make her more like Drake Athena. So I'm really just gonna press her with my straightener. I haven't fully customized this wig. If you're looking at my hairline, it is still pretty harsh, but this is how the wig came. Relax. Yeah, so I gotta deal with this wig because she's looking pretty crazy. Yes, that's what I was talking about. So don't come clock me in the comments for my edges or lack thereof or how it doesn't look natural. First of all, the hair is silver. Let's not forget. But if it bothers you all that much, just... Say it to yourself. You know, I'm not nice to say, don't say nothing at all. So now that I'm looking like a true Drakeiana, let's get into freaking makeup. I feel like if Draco Malfoy was to be a girl, she'd be so extra. So this bob, I feel like is so necessary. I think, I think today I want to start with eyes only because I know the makeup I have is going to be so extra or Drakimberly, that I need to make sure that I just protect myself from the fallout. We're gonna start by using Benefit's Brow Vo Conditioning Brow Primer. Good job. So, Benefit Brow Vo Conditioning Brow Primer. Dra Chloe probably is going to have a nice straight brow, and the NYX Eyebrow Gel, and this is in the color Espresso because Dra Courtney, she has silver hair, so we can't do black brows. We have to do something a little bit softer, so espresso. We're just gonna set Dra Kylie's brows with the Morphe Brow Setting Gel. Then we're gonna prime Dra Kendall's eyes with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I've been saying Druk so much that I'm just kind of like Drakaris. Then I'm gonna just take a flat eyeshadow brush and just blend this out. All I have is Game of Thrones on my mind because the season premiere was just two days ago. So all I want to say next is Drakaris. Is Drakaris a good name? I don't know. Like I feel like it could be now. So we're gonna say we're just about done blending out this eyeshadow base on Dracaris's eyes. So let's get into some color. I'm noticing that the skin under my eyebrows is kind of having a fit. So I'm just gonna go in with some concealer just to clean up the eyebrows. And also just kind of make sure that that skin also is not just bare. 
should have probably done this first, but like, you know, forgetful. Drake is just forgetful. She, you know, she forgets to do things. So we put this on, let's blend it out. Oh, and for that, I'm just using the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. This is in the color 380. Brush is trash. Why are you shitting on me? And I don't mind just blending the two in. It's not a big deal to me. So that's what I'm doing. As long as the whole eye is set, I do not care. Me. Okay, let's come in a little closer, a little, a little tighter, just so that we can see what I'm doing with these eyes. I could probably be like even, even closer. All right. So, so we're gonna be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Eyeshadow Palette called Dark Magic. Um, so this one is super fitting that it's called Dark Magic, because look at the colors. Super, super fit for a true Slytherin like Dracatily. <laughs> These are just getting so bad. Freaking names coming up the top of my head. So we're gonna start with Busted, something that Dracansa would never be. She'd never look busted. And we're just taking that on a light fluffy brush and we're just packing that into the crease. Actually, it's kind of slightly above the crease. Who am I? Who am I? Because Dra Draciana would never, like <laughs> she'd never. chopping wood like what are you doing out there sir it's not like i live in like the forest like jeez oh shit i'm not even supposed to be using these brushes oh my gosh i just had a freaking blank oh. so now for the ps de resistance these are the storybook cosmetic brushes these are did i say storybook because it's book storybook <laughs> cosmetic brushes these are the wand looking ones i don't know if they're co-signed by harry potter so i don't want to put that out there into the universe but they come in this cute little bag and these are the brushes and on the ends of them oh shoot they all have like wand ends and they're actually very very heavy and they feel pretty pretty sturdy so this is number one and she just looks like a fluffy blending brush number two yet another sort of type of fluffy blending brush. Number three is an angled fluffy blending brush. But she got like, that looked like a little snake. So she a true Slytherin just like Jaquela. <laughs> Number four is, um, it looks like a flat eyeliner brush or just like a flat brush in general. And number five is a traditional eyeshadow brush. She also looked like she got a snake on her. Perfect for, I can't think of any name. Perfect for Dracoline. On this fluffy brush, I want to take inside jobs. And I just wanna go along, like put it right under where Busted is. Zoom back in, honey. And we're just patting her on the bottom of Busted. And then we're gonna blend her into Busted. They gave like two fluffy brushes, but what I really could have appreciated is if they had like a narrower one, because something like this, I can't get into the crease right now. You know what I mean? And I would really love to have something like that. But this blends out great, but I just wish right now I had something tighter. On this flat eyeliner wand, Wingardium Leviosa, it into the crease, okay? So you're gonna take Temptress and just a little bit on this wand, this one, and you're just going to stamp it into the crease and just kind of almost cut it in a way, but not quite. We just need a little bit of depth in there before this green gets super muddy. And then I'm gonna go back into Busted back on my non-wand brush and just blend it out a little bit into that black. Cute. Okay, now that both eyes are done, what I'm thinking is let's go back in with our NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. 
And we're just gonna add a little bit more to the lid because I need a little bit more lid space. And when you're blending, sometimes things happen and you lose some of that lid space, but it's okay. So it's like we're cutting the crease now, but we're gonna cut the crease again. So if you make any mistakes, you're good right now. So this is absolutely beautiful. So now I'm gonna go in with potion and I'm going to, I hate when white stuff comes on camera. That sounds bad. Okay, <laughs> um, it just messes with my lighting. So now I'm gonna go in with potion. She's not really with the theme, but I'm hoping she does what I want. And if she doesn't, she's so light that I could probably cover her up. So we're just going to put potion on either end and we might just be haloing this. Like let's, one thing at a time though, one thing at a time. So let's pat on potion. So I feel like Potion is really not gonna come through how I want her to come through. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use Trickery and Power Cut. So now I have my MAC Mixing Medium. Focus. I have my MAC Mixing Medium and honestly, it's one of my favorite things. It's super expensive when you first buy it. I believe this Lickel tube is like $30. However, just putting a little bit on the brush by the way. However, I have, I'm pretty sure I should have thrown this out by now. It says it's supposed to last six months. I guarantee you I've had this for like, I wanna say like two years or something ridiculous, but it still works. Like I know you have to throw out cosmetics after a certain time, whatever, whatever, but it still works and it was like $30 and I wasn't going through all that that quickly. So we're taking a little bit and we're gonna put it just where we had potion. Like I said, it's gonna be kind of haloed out. And now going in with trickery. Trickery's here, guys. She's here. She's not playing any games. I actually think I'm psychotic. I have this thing where I have to keep my eyes open when I'm doing eyeshadow. Like, why? Girl, just close your eyes. <laughs> and she looks super cute. Go back in with my non-wand brush and just blend out the edges of trickery. Because if anything, Dracana is unclockable. Just get more. Just, I was gonna literally put the wand into the palette like this. With a look like this, you can expect O Patronus some fallout. See what I did there? And she looks so cute. When I tell you guys, when I honestly tell you guys that Jakara, she's not afraid of color. She's not afraid to be dramatic. She's doing everything right. Like, let's be real. Even though she's about to betray her entire academy, even though she's trying to kill an old man, she is not playing games, okay? Now, I'm gonna take more MAC Mixing Medium, uh, and I'm just gonna clean off my brush with the same brush, this uh, eyeshadow one. Clean off my brush with a makeup wipe, and take more of that MAC Mixing Medium, and I'm gonna now place it in the center of my eye so that we can really do this halo. But instead now, we're gonna use Power Cut, which is this one. And you just play with the two colors until you get your desired look. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit on me. Oh. <laughs> Jacqueline did not come to play. Like, she just didn't. She didn't. Like, look at her eyeshadow right now. Now, I'm gonna take, like, this look is gonna be so intense, guys. Like, sorry. I might not even show face because, really, we're just gonna do what it do. So now we're just gonna take the NYX White Liquid Liner and we're gonna cut our crease with it, which I'm super nervous about because this look is fire. And if I mess it up, I'll be... And then, and then, and then, I'm gonna take some NYX Crystal Liner, and I'm just gonna put it on the underside right here where I kind of made a mistake, but like we don't want people to know. Because realistically, Dracoya is like perfect. She doesn't make mistakes. So right under here. Cute as ever. And all I wanna do with my black liner is just kind of connect it to this. I don't wanna do too, too much yet. We want it to be thin. I don't want it to be like super thick. 
I just don't think it's necessary. Like, Dracardi is already so extra. To be quite honest, I feel like I could make it pop just a little, 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 little bit more. And I'm just gonna take some more of that glitter liner and just do the top of the black liner. Okay, let's go do the other eye of camera and come back. Okay, so while I was off camera, I put on some lashes. These are the Artie Beauty Confidence Lashes. And I put on some lashes off camera to Oculus repair them eyes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is getting better. For mascara, we're just gonna be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Voluminous Lash Mascara. I just, there's a lot of redundancies in there. And I chose the Confidence Lash because we know for a fact, like we know, we've been new that Drake Arena is a confident girl. She really is. So now I'm gonna go do my face. I feel like keeping it simple just because of the fact that I feel like we spend so much time on the eyes that I don't feel like doing all this work. Starting with the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And then the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This is in the color 440. Problem with light wigs, you be getting hella makeup in there. I'm gonna go to work and everyone's gonna be like, why is your gray wig brown? And I'm gonna have to say, I don't know, Susan, why is your gray wig brown? Then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer in the color 380 again. Um, I'm noticing that this shade is slightly too light for me. So what I've been doing is only concentrating it in like this area so that I don't get white because ever since I've come back from vacation, I've gotten darker way quicker than planned. And that means I'm probably gonna need another concealer color. And I just bought this. Also gonna take the other Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. This is in the color 495. Contour that first. Lately, I've been feeling as if I could lose a couple pounds in my face. So, what does Draconics do? She contours her jawline now, okay? Look how skinny Drakina is. Wow! Drakizabeth is definitely beat for the quads. Um, I'm just gonna contour my nose now, but very, very lightly. It's not because I really need to contour my nose, it's because I find that my look looks incomplete when I have concealer just kind of like, whoosh, like a sandstorm across my face. Dracora is definitely snatched. Like, look at these cheekbones setting. I'm gonna set my face with the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. This is in the color Honey. Now I'm gonna use the Fenty Sun Stalker. That's upside down. No, it's not. Now I'm gonna use the Fenty <laughs> Sun Stalker bronzer in Mocha Mommy. Whoa. In Mocha Mommy. Like, realistically, let's really talk for a second. Let's spill the tea. Like, Dracora is really a cold. B-I-T-C-H. She really, really is, but like, she wants some warmth on her face. Who are we kidding? Like, icy heart, warm face. You don't just kill your headmaster without being bronzed. Think you can get away with that and still live a successful life after and have kids? Like, what is this? Well, technically he didn't kill him, which is why he got away with it, but realistically it was attempted. So it's kind of like, I don't know. Everything is looking freaking set. So let's Lumos this. So, so good. Actually, before we get to Lumos, we gotta finish up what we did started. So going back in with our flat wand, I'm just gonna take Busted and Trickery. I feel like those are the only two that really matter. And just go on my bottom lash line.
Just gonna take my angled wand and just blend this out lightly. And on that same angled wand, I'm gonna take Diversion and put it in my inner corner. I'm gonna take this fluffy wand and I'm gonna take and just go over my brow bone really lightly. I was gonna say quickly. I mean lightly, just like a final blend for any Harsh lines. Wow, uh, Drakiki? <laughs> Drakiki's almost done, guys. Wow, she looks stunning. Glad we're not focusing on how awful my brows are. Bronzed, okay, eyes are done, okay. What do I have to do? Bottom lash mascara. Can we just talk about how this green eyeshadow is bringing out my baby browns? What? Now it's time to Lumos. And I'm gonna take Artist Couture's Illuminati only because it was almost like, excuse me, it was almost like Dracariana was in the Wizarding Illuminati. So we're just gonna take that. Lumos. Wow. Look how that worked, guys. I'm not even using one of the wizarding wands. <laughs> wow. Sometimes I get so messy with eyeliner, like it's disgusting. Like, Natalie, calm down. I'm sorry, who's Natalie? Who did I just say? I mean... Drakivi. Drakivi, calm down. It's not that serious. It's just highlighter, just highlighter. Now I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe setting spray. Um, I was kind of contemplating, because I've been doing so many nude lips on my channel, I was contemplating doing like a purple, like a dark, bold lip. I think I might still do that. I know a nude lip would kill this. Like it would look so fire, but you guys, versatility, versatility. One, th one thing that Dracoria, have I said Dracoria? Whatever. One thing that Dracoria is, is versatile. So let's do it. I feel like she just looks so tough. I really want to put on a nude lip, guys. Like, I like it, but I don't love it. I'm going to put on a nude lipstick. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And realistically, as evil as, as evil as Draconia was, she always wore a nude lip in her boy form. So let's give it to them, let's give it to the kids. Lining my lips with NYX's Urban Cafe. Then I'm gonna take Rimmel London's Stay Matte Lipstick, and this is in Scandalous. And if you thought, if you thought for one second that Dracarlene is done, she's not. We are going to take the same Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick, but this is in the color Mocha, and we're just gonna put that in the center. And Drakeisha is done. She's done. I threw on a blazer, because there's nothing that Drakina Malfoy, I'm pretty sure I've said Drakina, damn it. There's nothing that, there's nothing that Dracaylor Malfoy loves more than a blazer. So I threw on my business casual blazer and my Hogwarts acceptance letter earrings. How cute are they? They're little envelopes. Wait, let's zoom in. Get into the detail. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cute, whoa. She's so cute. Guys, I'm in love. I'm absolutely, absolutely, absolutely in love with everything that this look has going on. This is a full beat. This is like, listen, the next time Hogwarts has a party, the next time Hogwarts has a ball, we're gonna be there. If they decide to have another Triwizard Tournament, which I don't think they will given how the last one went, but even if they do decide to have another one, and there's a ball involved after or during, Christmas ball, Christmas party, I'm gonna be there. Listen. Listen to me. Drakibi will be there. She'll be there. Drakibi will be there. She'll be there. She'll be ready to slay. Like, girl. girl. 
love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was just to be super fun. It's not really like season appropriate, but that's why I put on that nude lip because I could kind of, kind of swing this in like a spring green look in a way, but it's really just to be like a little bit of a Harry Potter uh, character inspired Draco Malfoy. If that wasn't obvious, I'm sorry you need to watch the movies again. It's supposed to be super inspired by Draco if he was a she and she was me because <laughs> that's how I would be. Oh my gosh, bars! Plus, I got the storybook cosmetic brushes for my birthday and I really wanted to use them and I wanted to use them in context. So I just wanted to have fun. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below either your house that you've been sorted into. I'm obviously a Slytherin and I'm super happy about it. Like, it just makes, <laughs> runs through my blood. I'm a Slytherin through and through. If you've been sorted, I want to definitely know your house below or what your favorite Harry Potter character is. I want to know who that is in the comments down below. And also, lastly but not leastly, it's not a word, but not leastly, subscribe to me, please. I'll leave a button right here for you to make it super easy to do. And aside from that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!